Summation notation, also known as sigma notation, comes in handy when you're adding a long series of numbers. The rectangle areas in a left, right, or midpoint sum are good examples of when to use sigma notation. Here's how it works. Say you want to add the first 100 multiples of 5. That's from 5 to 500. You could write out the sum as 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 25 and so on, finishing with plus 490, 495, and 500. The sum is much more condensed and efficient with sigma notation. The symbol you see here tells you to plug 1 in for the i in 5i, then plug 2 into the i in 5i, then 3, then 4, and so on, all the way up to 100. Now add the results. That's 5 times 1, plus 5 times 2, plus 5 times 3, and so on, up to 5 times 100. It's the same thing as writing out the sum the long way. By the way, the letter i is just a variable. You can use any letter you like. Now for some practice. If you want to add 10 squared plus 11 squared plus 12 squared on up to plus 30 squared, you can write the sum with sigma notation like what you see here. You can use sigma notation to write out the right rectangle sum for the area under a curve. This is the formula for a right sum, which is used to estimate the area under a curve. Here's the same formula written with sigma notation. Starting with the curve x squared plus 1, work this out for the six right rectangles. You're approximating the area under x squared plus 1 between 0 and 3 with six rectangles. The width of each rectangle, b minus a over n, is 3 minus 0 over 6, or 3 sixths, or 1 half. a equals the starting point, 0, b equals the ending point, 3, and n equals the number of rectangles, 6. Now you have this equation. Because the width of each rectangle is 1 half, the right edges of the six rectangles fall on the first six multiples of 1 half, 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, and 3. These numbers are the x-coordinates of the six points x1 through x6. They can be generated by the expression 1 half i, where i equals 1 through 6. So now, you can replace the xi in the formula with 1 half i, giving you this. This function, f of x, is x squared plus 1. So, f of 1 half i equals 1 half i squared plus 1. Now, you can substitute 1 half i squared plus 1 for f of 1 half i. If you plug 1 into i, then 2, then 3, and so on up to 6, and do the math, you get the sum of the areas of the rectangles. This sigma notation is just a fancy way of writing the sum of the six rectangles, which is the approximate area under the curve. In this example, you divided the area under the curve into six rectangles to approximate the area. The more rectangles you use, the more accurate your approximation will be.